Hello everyone and welcome back to the SMJ Tech channel. Most of the time we're creating projects, defining timelines and defining baselines as well. However, uh, at times we may feel the need to see what was the adherence to the baseline durations that we had. So today I'm going to show you how you can set up a custom formula as per your need and uh, how can you use it to show uh, in the MS project uh, over here. So I have this project plan in front of me. I have set a baseline which is equal to today. So I have set the baseline right now and it has the same start and baseline to start dates. Baseline one was different. So I can see how many, uh, how much adherence did I had for uh, to the baseline durations defined. So I've calculated it based on the durations for baseline two. So uh, first, let me show you how I did it. So I had over to over here, created, uh, you know, inserted a new column, inserted a new column by the name text. So it's since it's already there, so I'm not going to reinsert it. And after selecting that column, I head over to the customs field. And in that field, I selected my column over here, which was originally text three. So I renamed it to baseline adherence. I can remove the text 30 part as well. So, and I selected formula from the custom attributes. After opening the formula, I put in this formula. So what it's doing is, it's putting a check that if a duration or the actual current duration is greater than baseline duration, then what it will do, it will find out what was the percentage of uh, that difference. So it will divide the baseline duration, assumingly since duration is greater, so it will divide the baseline two duration to the actual duration and multiply it by 100 to, you know, come up with a percentage. If it's not greater, then there's a possibility that the task duration was lesser than the baseline. So it will assume it as 100% because obviously it was achieved, uh, adherence was good. And if it's equal, then it will be 100% and I concatenated it with a percentage sign. So for those of you who haven't seen my earlier video where I showed uh, the functions, so over here, you can head over to the functions dropdown. There's an if expression. So you, what, what requires is you give it an expression, a logical condition, and what will happen if it's uh, true, the expression is found to be true, then you put that value or that uh, particular information here. And if it's not true, then you put the other information here. <clears throat> you can also select the appropriate uh, fields. So I selected duration and also use baseline to duration from here. And you have that mathematical functions over here as well. So after putting in the formula, you save it, say OK, and select use formula for summary tasks. So you can also see uh, the values in your summary tasks that are there in the project plan. And click OK. So. Once you click OK, you will start seeing this percentage over here. So let's try and change the actual duration to see what impact does it have. So for example, I have this three days. It can, instead of three days, I'm able to con uh, conclude this task in five days. So over here, you can see the adherence to 60%. So I was able to adhere to 60% of the baseline duration However, the rest of it goes away. So it will increase as as much as 
you move forward and if you reduce it to the same date it again back comes back to 100 percent and similarly it goes to the same if it's lesser than the actual duration so you can easily set up this information and formula for this purpose so this was today's video and i hope this was helpful if you want to continue to see such informative videos please remain subscribed to the channel and do like this video as well and if you want to see any other videos related similar videos where i use custom formula you can uh, see the ones referred in the i card until our next video please take care of yourselves and bye bye